Hi, uh, here we are uh, a week later after our last email that went out and just kind of letting you know what we were going to do coming into this week. And so now we are letting you know what we're going to be doing going into this next week. So first of all, I want to say uh, on behalf of myself at Eagle Physical Therapy and for Tony at Rebound and Steve at the Rebound Meridian office, thank you. Uh, we just appreciate all the little things that everybody is willing to do to, uh, to look out for each other. and. Um, it's, it's a lot of little steps of, of sanitizing and, and just keeping distance and, and just thank you for respecting all of that and we'll continue to do that. We've taken, we made some changes here at this office to kind of spread things out even more just to continue to do everything we can to protect you. Uh, and so, um, we'll, that being said, I want to let you know that we are moving forward. We're planning on being open as long as we can. Uh, we've kind of wrestled with what was the best thing to do. I mean, the most important thing for us is that we are a part of the solution and not a part of the problem. And so we were deciding what that looked like. And then uh, at the end of this last week, we've got messages both from the Department of Homeland Security and, and from our professional organization that said, even in situations where there is a lockdown, where it's a uh, shelter in place order from the governor, there are essential businesses that need to stay open. And one of those businesses are healthcare facilities and specifically physical therapy is listed in there as an essential part of making the system continue to work. And so what we can do to help is that we can take care of our patients and people that get hurt during this time because life goes on. People continue to do things that cause pain and do and get hurt and keep them from even be able to work at home. And so if we can unload some of the stress and, and the burden to the primary care physicians by, by taking care of those people, then we can be a help to them and they can take care of the more urgent things. And so, so with that being said, if you or someone you know has issues and they're having a lot of pain and they can't do the things that they need to be doing, um, you can come straight to physical therapy. Uh, insurances, most insurances allow that. And in the cases where they don't, um, we will work with your physician to kind of get a referral without you having to go in. We'll do everything we can to, to unburden them so they can take care of people that are getting uh, the virus and, and having to deal with those things and, so, and more urgent things that, that don't require just the care of the musculoskeletal things, which is what we do. And so there are a couple links down below this video that we'll talk about uh, that, have link, that have the references to the Homeland Security and our professional organization, just so you can see what, they, what the messages that we are getting. Another thing I want to say is that um, keep moving. I think for you, you those of you that are at home with your kids, um, movement is, is makes our body healthy. And so I think it's important to continue to move and stay healthy. There is another link below that talks about a 30-day movement challenge. Some good friends of ours have put this together and it's wonderful exercises. It's encouraging information. Uh, it's inspiring inf messages for your kids to hear. And so I think that would be a great thing. It's called Free to Play Academy and there should be a link below. And so, um, so my encouragement to you is uh, if you need physical therapy, uh, keep coming in. We're still here. We're taking all the precautions. If you're nervous at all uh, and you are, feel like you're at high risk, then by all means stay home. We want to be able to help you and if that means that we can uh, um, communicate with you virtually, maybe through video, let us know if that's something that interests you and we can give you some guidance uh, even over the internet and, uh, and do our best to help you through this, through this time. So uh, thank you again and I also, last thing I want to say is, you know, just keep everybody in your prayers that are dealing with all this, people from Italy and New York and all these hot spots that are going on right now that, that there's not much that we can do physically with our hands and feet to help them, but we can continue to pray for them and we can help our neighbors and just be kind and, and do the things that we can to the people around us. Thank you.